and gentlemen. But most importantly, ladies, listen up. They wanted us back for volume two of Ladies Night at the Tech Bar. And I just could not be any more excited because tonight it's going to get super crafty. Nikki, Alex, and I are going to be joined by a super special guest. Her name is Desiree Thomas of Fortier Technologies, and I've heard that she's a little crafty, just like me. So I've got some yarn to get through, and I hope you'll join me with your latest crafting project and, of course, your drinks. And get ready for a super fun build night of Ladies Night at the Tech Bar, Volume 2. Like on the drive down, I knew I'd need them. <laughs> just, I, I love it. Like, just hear no Ashley one. just fill it up her, her <laughs> <wine> glass. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. Raw Raw really wanted to be a part of Ladies Night, guys. <laughs> she was hiding. I didn't even see. <laughs> I love it. What is up, party people? Who we got in the chat? All kinds of people. Got all got kinds Bill. of people. We got Alden. We I got do Trey. see I do see Alden. We see them all. I love it. Well, I am super excited for volume two of Ladies Night, and I'm super excited that we get to keep doing this. So it's going to be a quarterly thing, ladies. That I'm makes so me so excited. Like the first, I mean, I was excited when the first one happened. And then when they were like, you guys want to make this a regular thing? I was like, yes. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> duh. Duh. All right, well, let's not make our lovely guests wait too much longer. We have a special guest joining us tonight. And as Logan stated, she is a crafty girly. And I think that's a common theme between all of us here tonight. So I'm sure we are going to have lots to talk about. So let's go ahead and bring her up. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, that was a jump scare. <laughs> when in doubt, roar it out. Yes. Oh, I, love it. I, I love that the, the Dino made a second appearance. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me, guys. I'm so stoked to be here. I'm so stoked Absolutely. to have you. Absolutely. I'm sorry. Ray, Ray <laughs> can, we, can we please get a Fallout Boy version of the Tech Bar theme song? I, think I we need, need one. it. We'll make it I happen. need it. Jack we'll work, will agree with me. We're gonna work with Phil on that one. <laughs> so yeah, Jack, Jack, Phil, Nikki, and Logan can probably all put that together. Just seeing Jack with the karaoke alone, I mean, I no doubt you guys can get it handled. <laughs> but Desi, this actually isn't your first time on the tech bar. You did make a cameo appearance once, right? <laughs> yeah, it was in my one of my many dinosaur costumes. I don't know how I or why I have so many dinosaur costumes. It kind of ended up being a thing, and now people just give me dinosaur costumes. But you invent or you guys were on the on the tech bar with Trevor Thomas, my partner, and he was running out of drinks. So only logical that the dinosaur brings him some drinks. That's who, who else is going to serve him drinks at, at this kind of event? I was on that episode and I remember just absolutely loving it. It was, it was great. So thank you so much for the entertainment. So Desiree, 
you are uh, the fractional channel chief at Aportio. So why don't you give us a quick 30 second pitch? Tell us about what you do. Yes, absolutely. So Aportio Technologies, um, they are a vendor in New Zealand. I've been working with them for probably the last eight or nine months here. Um, they came to the, they have this amazing technology about helping MSPs um, manage and triage their tickets. It's all AI based. It can help save them two to four minutes per ticket. And the one of the problems that I came across when I was talking to them is that the getting into the North American market is kind of difficult, especially if you were stuck in New Zealand for several years because you got stuck. Um, and so I've been working with them. Uh, I firmly believe that there's a ton of technology out there that uh, the MSPs can use and can help them get more value, help them save time. And there is a lot of vendors out there, Aportio being one of them, that they don't really have the opportunity to be able to explore that conversation with the MSPs. So I'm taking Aportio and bringing it all to the channel and saying, hey, any of you guys, if you have any problems with ticket automation, with email automation, if you think that your, your staff are spending too much time doing all those things manual, that's where Aportio will come in. They come in, they can do your ticket classification, your email classifications, read everything for you and do it all automatically. So saving you anywhere from two to four minutes per ticket, which I think that any MSP or anyone who's listening to this, if you could save two or two to four email or two to four minutes per email per ticket, that's a really good value. So I'd love if you guys come and chat with me. And that is my Aportio. They're amazing. They're fantastic. And we really, really want to help the industry. Awesome. We all know time is money, right? So anything that can help us save a little bit of time is great. All right. What are we drinking tonight, ladies? Whatever. Vodka. <laughs> just just yeah, oh, okay, the vodka. Vodka. <laughs> you know. Water. I, that and of course, used in to be my go-to. Go it is. Vodka and water has been my go-to since I realized that who needs to drink that much extra sugar? And yes, then yes. this mug, I like to talk about good swag, was Nerdio's, one of the Nerdio's swag items. Okay. This apparently is a very popular mug in the U.S. and Canada, not so much. But I have, I literally just use it for everything all the time. Best camping mug, best everything wait, mug. Wait, wait. So is that the is actual that vodka? You buy it pre-mixed vodka water like that? Did, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, graphics is fucking with me. <laughs> I was like, wait, is this a real thing? <laughs> but I think that is. On one. <laughs> it should okay. Be. <laughs> so I, yeah, I actually used to drink that too. I was the same way. I was like, okay, so I'm going to cut out the sugar. I'm going to hydrate while I dehydrate and, you know, just two, kill two birds, one stone. And I used to do that all the time. And I put a little bit of lemon in it. I need to get back to that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. I'm going with red wine as always. So I've got a nice Pinot Noir for tonight. I love a good Pinot Noir. So good. I've got a, That's I've got nice. a drink that Alex is really mad at me about. Um, but before I even get there, because we're, we're, we're crafty ladies, I do have my, my OIT cup that I made. Um, I can't flip it upside down right now, but if I did, the glitter would all move in here. I made. Nikki, I'm, I need I'm, one of those. I need one of okay. those. I got you. Pretend I will. Former, I will make request. you one. And I got uh, in in this. I have a uh, a white monster, which Alex is really mad at me about because it's, I it's have been drinking monster for drinks. ten years. It's the worst of the energy drinks. I'll yell at you later. It is. Uh, you already yelled at me earlier. It's okay. But I do have, I have white monster and then I usually like to throw some flavored vodka into my white monster. So I have pink Whitney, pink lemonade vodka in this. And uh, yeah, I got my, it's like a vodka Red Bull, but it's a vodka monster Trevor, and, and it makes Alex angry. Trevor, we're absolutely getting Desiree one of those cups, by the way. I, ve I, I veto you. I veto you, sir. <laughs> when you turn it upside down and there's sparkles, I was like, I was already invested. I was like pretty much online buying one for myself and just going to figure out how to land it. I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to buy one online. You can just be really nice to Nikki. And then suddenly you, you have one like magic. You know, I, I hear crafty ladies like to do like craft swaps. So it's like we could do like, I'll make you something, you make 100%. me something. It could be fun, right? <laughs> All right, Logan, what you drinking? 
All right. Well, Danny kind of spoiled it with that graphic, <laughs> but um, I'm drinking the same thing I did last tech bar, but I've got some options. So I'm between the pineapple apple cider, which was really good. But I also have a plain like granny apple sort of cider. This is called Kiss My Apple, which I just think is hilarious. I love, so, love that name. Um, yeah, it's super tart and good. I'm a big apple cider lady. I don't really love anything else. So me and my Your cider. creature habit too. I get it. I get it. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, we do have a few rules for the bar. So Danny, if you could go ahead and pull those up for us. And Desiree, can you please read us the rules for Tech Bar tonight? Yes. I didn't realize I was supposed to read. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the bartenders are always right. I'm on board. No politics or religion at the bar. If you hear these phrases, you drink. Namaste, mute, off the rails. Arts and crafts are welcome at the bar. Oh my God, this is my favorite place. I love it. Um, what happens at the bar stays at the bar, except for on the internet, right? <laughs> <laughs> if the bartender is wrong, see rule number one. Perfect. There we go. I love all of these rules. I should have, when in my 10 years of serving and bartending, I wish I just had those in the background and like the rules. Man. Yeah. Just follow the rules. Read, read, read the rules, man. So it is customary for us to make up one more drinking word for the night. So since you are our lovely guest, what would you like the other word to be? Security. Okay. So we've got mm. muted, off the rails, namaste, and security. So let's all just go ahead and take a nice little sip since we checked all of them off. All right. Now that we have um, understand the rules and all of our drinking words, we're going to do a nice little toast. So Desiree, we'll have you do that as well. Aw, that's very sweet. I like it. You guys don't need to read it. Just kidding. Here's to the fear <laughs> of women in tech. Leading with innovation and grace. Cheers to breaking boundaries and embracing the future. Aw. Like kind of make me cry. Yeah. That. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. All feeling right. Like a Friday. It is feeling like a Friday. We're yeah, we're all gonna forget that we have to work tomorrow. And be like, oh, sorry, Ray. No, it was Friday yesterday, right? All right, guys. Quick little commercial break. We'll be back. Here at the MSP Media Network. We'd like to do what we can to highlight the women who have made a positive impact on the MSP channel. That's why we created the Channel Impact Awards. But we're asking for your help. We can't do it alone. We need your nominations to make this first season really count. We're asking that you scan the QR code on your screen now and submit your nomination before April 26th. We hope you'll join us in celebrating excellence in the MSP channel and highlighting those who are making it better for those ahead. Again, the deadline for submissions is April 26th, so be sure to scan the QR code before then and get in your nominations in just the next three weeks. Thank you for contributing to MMN's initiative to uplift those who are making a positive impact on the MSP channel. Until next time, I'm Logan Ludicky, judge and creator of the Channel Impact Awards. I hope to see you on our first season coming up so soon. Go, Logan. You did such a good job. That was so good. <laughs> oh, thanks. I worked really hard to get my background to look nice this time, so I'm glad. I'm glad it went over well. <laughs> the background is amazing. I loved it. I loved it the first time you had it, and I, I love it now. I love, like, the I thought about 80s, switching it up, but like, I like this one. Yeah. I might stick with it for a little while. It's even – it says ladies' night up here, which I just think I is know. so cute. And it's the tech it bar, is. you know. It works pretty hard. I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely fully expect. Like you can see, like this is a green screen. You can definitely see that this is like 
a tapestry hung on a green screen and I'm fully, fully expecting this tapestry to fall halfway through this. <laughs> and uh, I mean, if it well, does, if it I does, it then uh, bottom you up. and like not in front of you. Well, no, no, I'm not expecting like the green screen itself to fall. It's literally <laughs> clipped on at the top of the green screen with my hair clips. Okay. Like, okay. Literally just like alligator clip hair clips See, you know a crafty girl will get it done no matter what the task is see moral of the story so exactly. i do want to get to know everyone a little bit better so we're going to do a quick lightning round so i Thank am you. going to ask some questions and then you one lightning round All right, so I'm gonna choose a question so you guys answer uh, first thing that pops to mind. So what is your spirit animal? A dinosaur? A penguin. <laughs> we, sh we should have known that, Desiree. Penguin, okay. Logan? Mm, that's a good question. I don't know if I've ever thought about this one. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't, maybe like, I like bats a lot. I'd say bats. Like, I do kind of That's like an, to hang upside okay. down on the couch. So I feel like okay. a bat in another life, I, I might be a bat. I'd be into that. <laughs> okay. Bats are cool. Like, they are so cool. Like, they are. They, Yesterday are really was, or maybe scary. today, one of these days recently where it, it was Bat Appreciation Day. So I was having a, a great time. Reminds me of a Ray said, Ray That's Ray so said you're a mere cat. <laughs> Like to oh, Those are so cute. <laughs> yeah. Raw kind of reminds me of a bat sometimes, so I can get on board with that. Okay. I call, so, I call Phoenix I call Phoenix the angry chicken. So the angry chicken. Yeah. Raw looks like an angry chicken for sure. Okay. So, next I just wait. Oh no, I wanna I gotta I gotta pipe in here. Trevor okay. and I actually have matching bat tattoos. And <laughs> that's why I have bat I I have a matching I have matching bat tattoos with my best friend. We got those for her 30th birthday. And it's because You're making so me we want got a bat tattoo. Batman and Robin. And we only named Batman Batman because I was convinced he looked like a bat, but like it just suits because Batman, right? You're like, and so I looked at Trevor and it is like little puppy on me and he had these big ears. I was like, can we name him Batman? And he's like, Yeah. He's so cute. Yeah. I, I, I support the matching well. tattoos. I support the matching <laughs> tattoos. Right, look, Ray's gonna get one too, so you know everyone's on board. <laughs> well, and see, mine's not, mine's not Batman. Mine's a lot lamer than that, but it's how I met my best friend. So like, oh, that's sweet. It's it's the logo for Pete Wentz's clothing line, like the bassist from Fall Out Boy. I'm not surprised at all, Nikki. I'm not surprised at all. And it's 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 how I met my best friend almost 18 years ago. So. We got so them I matching I, for her 30th birthday. I already know what your response to this question is going to be, but I'm going to ask everyone else now. Hidden talent and go. Nikki's is going to be attending the most Fall Out Boy concerts. It's <laughs> hidden <laughs> talent. I want them, if that's Nikki's hidden talent, then mine's going to be attending the most Our Lady Peace concerts. Wait, who? Wait, what concert do I know? I don't know who that is. Our Lady Peace. It's like. My, I like in high school, that's Our Lady Peace was like my heart, my soul, like was everything at that range, like grade eight onwards. And okay. then now I've literally probably gone to probably 50 of their concerts, like if they're, and to the point where I now have friends who, and a loving partner who refuses to go to OLP with me ever again. Like it's been bad. <laughs> like I have to go to the concert by myself. You have me beat. I've uh, I've only seen my favorite band nineteen times. It's still amazing. I love it. <laughs> Logan, what you got? Uh, I don't know. I guess we could say I have a hidden talent for taking pictures at concerts. I do that a lot. Um, but I, also I have like to I've seen one of those. You do a really, really good job. So often, so. Yes, you are an amazing photographer. I, I have seen oh, some of those. You. Yes, <laughs> I love that. Okay. Um, all right. I don't so, know if that counts as a hidden talent. Like, oh, yeah, give me another one. Like mine. Like my, I don't yeah. know if that counts as a hidden talent. Yeah, we all know talent? it's not really hidden. We all know. 
my hidden uh, well i mean it's not it's also not really hidden but like i can burp on command my brothers taught me when i was younger now you got, <laughs> i mean cool. now you, now you got to you got to do it <laughs> that was so impressive <laughs> that was that was not even anything close to i don't know if my mom is in the chat yet but like she's going to come in and be like that was mom me. is going to be Better. like um off the rails and going to mute you so yeah 100% oh, everyone. <laughs> she 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 would no but my i have two older brothers and they taught me when i was in like second grade and then i beat every boy in my second grade class at a burping competition I'm okay. seeing a rumor in That's the chat talent. that Desiree is so good at freestyle cool. rapping no. <laughs> He's lying blatantly. He's setting you up. I am not. He's only saying that because I make him break dance at events all the time. Because that Trevor, you can if you you get him right, you can get him to break dance. But because he's old, it hurts him. Oh. <laughs> he's just trying to hurt you. Hundred percent. I think you were actually wearing the pickle dress when we were at one of the shows and you made him break dance. I saw it, yes. <laughs> we totally bullied him into it. You can do it anytime, it's amazing. Sometimes you gotta wait until like three or four drinks. And so I gotta pick a pickleback? No. Well, that could have been the drink today. I gotta piggyback what Nikki was saying. Um, Nikki, you said that you could burp on command. I can't actually burp. And I just had to say that because it just felt so serpentitis that you can burp on command and I can't actually physically burp. It's very difficult. It's very irritating. It's not a fun thing. I have interesting. I've never met anyone else anyone else that's like I can't physically burp. That's interesting. Okay. Just chug McDonald's Sprite and I promise you can. <laughs> it's the reason I don't drink bubbles. <laughs> Ooh, I have a secret no. hidden talent that I forgot about. I can bend okay. my, my thumb completely backwards. And nobody gets super grossed out, but I'm double jointed. I can bend my thumb both Wait. ways. Oh, I can't. Oh, go wow. You're right. You're right. If, I mean, yeah, I'm, I, 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 even I'm, easy. I'm no. hardly even single Are, jointed. Just my thumb. Just like this part of my thumb is double jointed. I don't know why. I, I can't go either, either way. I have not fact checked this, but I just saw this today and I apparently should because I didn't think it would be brought up. But apparently being hyper, um, like being able to do things like that and being hypersexual is a ADHD like thing that you can like people. Say, yeah, I have no idea, but I, I saw it today and was like, that's really interesting. I don't know well, I do have mind. raging Sometimes ADHD. I wonder what's going on with me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe true, guys. It may be true. So we'll have to fact check, an, a fact check another story that a little birdie told me um speaking of your craftiness that during lockdown you got so bored that you recreated an airplane out of a fridge box yeah <laughs> it got bored. It was really tell good. us a little more about that so like okay covid lockdown like i remember being at an airport in california being like am i even gonna get home and then panicking being like is it gonna be like three days or five days or a week 10, who knows, no longer than a month for sure. Uh, and then I got bored <laughs> really <laughs> quickly. And I had this like massive refrigerator box and everything that you read during that time, it was such like an interesting time. People kept talking about how to not be depressed or stressed and anxiety ridden during this time. One of the things was keep to your routines. Like Ray wants us to drink guys. Everyone just go ahead and take a sip. He's going to get us drunk. Mm. Cheers. Um, what's your routines? And my routine clearly was getting on airplanes. So I built an airplane and then I did an entire series of like videos where I got in my airplane and like went to work. And then I like, put the airplane on like rollers and like put it on the road and like went to work. Uh, I, I, created, I also did a booth. Like, Cause at the time I was working at Dado, I built a whole Dado booth. And had oh a, a, a like a whole booth in the house where luckily Trevor's the only one I was allowed to hang out with at the time. <laughs> like Trevor, come buy my stuff at my booth. Talk to me about booth this will be great times. Uh, and then to, to top it all off, because I'm very weird, uh, I built a lobby bar because I really miss the lobby bar a lot. 
Um, and so we had, I had lobby bar conversations with people were just recorded conversations that I'd had with them, like from, I found online and just like made it a lobby bar conversation. It's very That's amazing. Hilarious. Well, that's how that, that's how this all started, right? Being COVID and not being able to attend the events at the shows and hanging out at the bar with everyone, you know, how Ray loves to do a good bar takeover. So we can definitely understand. So that's a fun story. So from uh, car cardboard airplanes and <laughs> cardboard <don't>, booth boxes. <laughs> I don't know if you part. guys can. I don't know if you guys can hear that right now. I have a really good microphone, but uh, my dog has an automatic feeder, and it must be four o'clock my time because her food is dropping. <laughs> and I just heard her leap off the couch very excitedly. So she's she's a happy dog eating her food. Oh, I heard Keith, daughter. You're always welcome. You're always welcome. I heard oh, you he say daughter, daughter when you started that. Daughter. <laughs> but like I pictured your daughter having an automatic food drop off <laughs> and then she gets really excited and is like, Yay! Snacks! The the fur babies count too. The fur well, mine's a, a non fur baby, but the animals count too. No, she's just I I got tired of she doesn't know what a weekend is, and so like I didn't want to get up at six thirty in the morning on a Saturday to feed her, and so my mom bought her an automatic food dispenser for Christmas, and it is magical. I would love. I don't if have, I have to have disrupt an, her routine. I want an automatic food dispenser for myself. Okay. Me too. <laughs> I wish I could have something that would just spit meals out for me when it's time <laughs> to eat because I literally hate cooking. I cannot stand it. I hate it. I hate grocery shopping. I hate meal prepping. I hate all of it. I need a personal chef. But I hear that you love cooking, Desiree. Yeah. So maybe you can just adopt me. I'll come move in and, you know, I can be your child. If you lived anywhere remotely close to me right now, we would finish this call. And when I sobered up enough to drive, I would bring <laughs> you like a week's worth of freezer meals and just be like, oh, here's all the freezer meals for the week. I'll talk, I'll talk as long as you don't have any allergies because I only cook what I cook. But. I like, here's a week. We have, there's two people in my house. We have two deep freezers that are full to the rim of frozen meals. Oh, puppy. Oh, that, that's some preparation, ma'am. So what's your favorite thing to make? Well, sourdough. <laughs> sourdough. I do a lot of baking and sourdough. I have for like about 10 years. That okay. is probably my most fun, but it's also because it's, it's really fun to be able to make a loaf and give it to a neighbor. Like you, like it's a process. You learn how to do better. You're just like handing it off. And then for eating lasagna, spaghetti, pastas, all of the things, delicious. I love all of those things. I do love a good sourdough. I have never even like just the thought of prep prepping dinner for myself. The like with stuff that's like somewhat pre-made is too much for me. So fully making something from scratch, I just, it's, no, I can't fathom it. <laughs> I am ridiculous to the point. And it's all like, so cooking to me is like crafting. It's just after years, I love feeding people. There's something about you can manipulate people into loving you if you feed their, 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 their bellies. They just like you more. They're like, perfect for the win. But there is something about crafting that every time I cook, you do like, I want to be better than I was. So I will literally have a Sunday where I'll be like, oh, I'm just going to make this like one thing. And then 70 meals later. And I'm not exaggerating when I say okay. the day and we will have, I will, I will have made 70 freezer meals um, and then be like, Trevor's like, Des, you, you could have just made one. And I'm like, I don't know how to cook this one. I only know how to cook 70. And this is the end result. You give me like, like I make spaghetti sauce. Well, now you might as well make burgers and you might as well make shepherd's pie. You might as well make uh, like meatloaf and you might as well make meatballs. You might as well make rice meatballs. Those are all logical, I, all the same ingredients. All, all sounds I feel great. that I, so hard. I live, I, I, I live right across from my best friend, her boyfriend, and her daughter. And, like, I can't make food. Like, I have me and my roommate. I can't make food for two people. I make so much food. And so then I just message, I message my friend across the parking lot. And I'm like, hey, I made a crap load of 
this. Do you guys want dinner? Me always, yes. I always want dinner. But we got another commercial, guys. So we'll be right back. It's a good one. Starter, a new eau de parfum by Yeast Saint Laurent. That was that was super okay. that was super worth not seeing it in advance. Well, like, like you we post, talking, like you you we shared brought it. up the sourdough, and I was like, "Wow, this is the perfect opportunity for this commercial. Like it's right now is the time. I'm so glad." <laughs> You sh- you shared it like in our chat, and I was like, I'm not gonna watch it. I'm gonna be good, and I'm just gonna wait <laughs> I, until I, I see like it live. Wait. Yeah, I like to wait and be surprised in real time. But I love the play on words with the yeast Saint Laurent too. That was that was so good. Good job, Logan. Thanks. I love I'm proud that of that concept. So, that was a fun one. <laughs> Desi, would you would you purchase yeast Saint Laurent? I think that might oh, be. Your, your, I already, I already bought it. it. <laughs> she she it. It. <laughs> my life savings is in the shares of their company right now like that that's everything like sorry trevor <laughs> all right so we're gonna play a game tonight next on the agenda is wonder woman so what, yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be given three clues or quotes of a famous woman in history and then we're going to be awarded points when we guess who the correct person is So what do we have here? So an American actress and singer known for her powerful vocals and philanthropic work, advocate for mental health and awareness and LGBTQ rights. So we've got Lady Gaga or Demi Lovato or Taylor Swift. I feel like, okay, part of me feels like Lady Gaga is too obvious, but like, also, I feel like that's going to be the right answer. You know, like, is Demi but I, Lovato but really... an actress, though? Demi Lovato is not an actress, yeah, and I just really don't think that this. She was on Sunny with this... a Chance. Come on, guys. But well, she like, was, yeah. Channel. Like, can... like <laughs> one episode, or was that like I didn't watch? No, that she was, was like that... this. Like, and actually, I'm sorry because, and this is where I'm kind of leaning towards Demi Lovato because Demi Lovato goes by they them. Yes. And so I'm like, okay, they were a Disney Channel star. Mm-hmm. So they are an actress. So who's more philanthropic, Gaga or Lovato? I feel like I'm going to go with A. I'm, I'm going to agree with Garrett on this one. I'm going to go with A. I, I'm, I'm going to go, okay, go with A. A. About on Lovato. Rock. I'm sorry I didn't say that one. <laughs> I'm going to go with A, even though like I, I feel like it's too obvious, but I'm going to go with A. What do you think, Desiree? I'm going to go with A because I had to look up who Demi Lovato was. <laughs> and oh, I that hurts me. Look, like, there's so many people going to hate me for this, but I couldn't tell you a Taylor Swift song. And I oh. think she act. Maybe I just need okay. to be better in life. So if it's an actress, so that those are my, that's my um, firm A. Desiree not being able to like pick a Taylor Swift song out of the back of her brain. Uh, hurts me jack and garrett in the chat all right danny all right danny who who we got group consensus is oh we were all wrong okay. it was, i, guess uh, yeah. Yeah, I should have gone oh my god i should have gone with don't be a follower nikki don't be a follower <laughs> <laughs> all right who we got next okay so Another American actress, producer, and entrepreneur known for her roles in action films and her philanthropic work as well, and founder of the production company Pacific Standard. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I think Angelina Jolie and Reese Witherspoon are the only ones that have a production company or have been producers. I could be wrong. 
See, now it's my turn. I don't know who B is. Darren? Oh my god, I have what? such a real crush it's on her. Movie. I love oh. Charlie's Darren. I probably, I probably absolutely know who it is, but I she need to first like, we're Googling. She's amazing. We're Googling and okay, no, I definitely know. I just did not know her name. I feel like the all American bit is making me want to go with Reese, though. I'm gonna go with oh. Reese as well. Okay. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> so I'm Reese. Who else said? Who else said they think? Uh, I I'll go. Okay. want to go with A because okay. I don't know. I know that Angelina Jolie is pretty philanthropic, and that's like she is. kind of the only thing I know about her. So but I'm gonna I'm gonna I, stick with Garrett again, and I'm gonna go with A. <laughs> I think I think Reese has produced more too, though. What do you think, Nikki? I think A. Okay, so we're split. Let's see who won. Danny, what is what is the result? Hey! Ah. We we are not on the rails. Although, what action movies can you think of that she's been in? Like, I just because it said action action films. Um, it does not act her roles in action films. Yeah, like you know, I can't. I'm, 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 I am an with you. Film. I am with you there. There was there was one where she did where she was like going like dating two different guys or had a breakup or something and she was like uh like a tennis player or something. I don't know if that's really considered action, but I don't who knows. All right, let's see who's next. <laughs> okay, so did someone just say she's in the Fast and the Furious? Was that Long Star <laughs> Nine? And I no no is that true? There is thirty seven. Is that true? Million. Options of those. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. Okay, so our our next Wonder Woman is someone who was a Swedish environmental activist known for advocacy for climate change action and star started Fridays for Future movement. Okay, let's one. see. This Are you Greta. It's hundred percent Greta. Greta. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah. Fridays for future climate change action. Ready yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's B. All right, Danny, we're all in agreement here. All right, do we get some more points? All right. Hey, yo, look at us go. Hey. <laughs> all right, do we have another one? What we, okay, yeah. So American talk show host, actress, and producer, and pioneer of daytime television with her award-winning show and a media mogul and billionaire i can't see the options because ray's comment okay i was gonna say the same thing like ray is in the way <laughs> uh oprah winfrey ellen or tyra okay so mm, um this could go anyway i think yeah i think i want to go with a because i want to go I with a because like, it's yeah. a pioneer oh, yeah, say, oh, of daytime yeah, gonna television say, yeah i'm gonna mm -hmm. go oprah as well all in agreement. I think so. Watch, we all get it wrong. A. No, we right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, I think no. we have two more. <laughs> we got a drinking word. Oh, last one, last one, guys. <laughs> oh, we got another drinking word. Oh, security here, <laughs> sing right. Okay, last one, guys. An American politician and attorney, the first woman of color to be elected vice president of the United States and served as the Attorney General of Cali of California before her historic election. Well, there's only one. Yeah. <laughs> so Come I'm going to have to go with C. <laughs> the yep. Canadian in me is going to say, I will follow you guys and say C. Becky, are we all in agreement? I'm, I'm, I'm going with C. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. All right, ladies. I think we did okay. We only got what, maybe one or two wrong. I mean, me and me and De Desiree got most of them right, but you guys only got <laughs> two. <huh>? You guys. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I got these ones. <laughs> I think that no matter what happened, the fact that I can't name a Taylor Swift song goes down in history as like a fail. Like I just, it doesn't matter what really, happens in my life. I fail. That makes me really exponentially sad. 
I look, I'm also I like her as a person, but I'm not a Swifty in any capacity. And I couldn't tell you a title of a song. I know like the hey, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me like the quote or whatever. But like, I don't know the actual titles of the songs. That makes me so sad. And it, <laughs> it like you guys are personally offending uh, Jack and Garrett in the chat right now. I'm I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I do love her costumes. I think she's, you know, great, you know, woman supporter. I think that she could maybe spend a less time on her private jet in the air. But, you know, conversation for now. Okay, we're off the rails, guys. <laughs> she has, a, um, she has yeah. a new album coming out tomorrow. And I hope Ray knows that that's all I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> so we have one more game. Bars or bots. Maybe I you'll give us a tip. Maybe they'll give us a Taylor Swift song. Who knows? We'll see. So basically, we got we to gotta decide if it's an actual bar or if we think a bot created it. So actual song or is it something that AI came up with? Oh, my God. You guys, look. I have I have a drink minion. Oh. Do you love your drink minion? I need a drink minion. Where's my that's drink my, minion? That's my drink minion. I don't got a dino. I don't got a minion. I, I don't got nothing. All right. We have so, to. Okay, hold on real quick, though. We do have to wait for my drink minion because I think he's going to be really terrible at this game. He's refilling my drink right now. And when he's back, I I want to know his answers to these okay. as well as our own answers. But so drink let's minion is, is drink minion. Mix, mixing masterminds like your name. What does it say? I can't see. Like your name, Bernie Grundman. Well, I'm going to keep leading like a young Harriet Tubman. <laughs> um, what do we think, guys? You think it's real? I feel like this would be an Ice Spice lyric. I think I'm going to go ice bars. Spice. <laughs> see, that's what I'm afraid of is that there's going to be like Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj. I don't know any of their songs. So like I might be terrible at this, but I also might be good look guys i'm i'm going blind i listen to to boots and cats and boots and cats here's here's my my drink minion once again i wish i could train raw to bring me drinks okay i can barely get him to behave (laughs) i'm sorry i got a painting oh and and uh, and a painting of a rock because we were talking about crafting that i made and a oh, banana because yeah. someone was saying that we needed a banana your, in the chat. Your potassium's low. And and the shot. <laughs> and a shot. All right. Look, Look at that. Your Trevor, your whole Trevor, I I need you to step it up. We got we got minions, we got dinosaurs. If you're not gonna be a dinosaur deliverer of things, then I you need another costume. We we're we're costume proud. So step I it up, know. sir. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Never do better. That's what I tell them all the time. Like, literally. I'm just like, you know what? You're great. But if you could just be like an insy bincy better always, that'd be just, that, that'd be perfect. Hey, there's, he all, made, there's always going to be better. He, he made this drink a little spicy. It, I might go off the rails. <laughs> oh, look, it's a good thing I'm refilling because Ray keeps us drinking and now Nikki's on top of us too. All right, guys. So, what do we think? Bars or bots? Um, since Logan thinks this is ice bite, I think I'm gonna follow follow the crowd here and say maybe bars. I'm thinking bots. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Okay. 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 So, so it so, is. It is bars. So it's that's ice spice. An actual lyric? Is that what we're saying? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> or that shot got me. It's okay, Keith. We 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 all gave up on Sean. It's fine. We're, we've all moved past it. All right, bars or bots? What's next? Beep beep. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Room. I'm driving to the beach. Top down. Loud sounds. See my peeps. Give them pounds. Now look who it be. Oh, God. I should be a ra- I, I should hope be a rapper, this guys. isn't a bar because <laughs> I, I don't think that bot. would go over very well. In the I'm top gonna hits. say I'm gonna say bot. bot. <laughs> I'm gonna say bot. <laughs> Maybe it's just I, me, it, but bot. <laughs> this I'm is something gonna, Chat GPT would write for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna. Right, no, you know what? Bad. I'm gonna say bars. Okay. Going against the grain. Grammar too bad to be a bot. That's funny. 
I was going with the bot as well, but I really, okay. really loved that grammar is too bad to be a bot. <laughs> <laughs> this is like 2020 grammar, not 2024 for a box. Oh man, so yeah, that's a good that's a good point. Should I flip switch? I'm thinking I'm thinking bars. I'm, okay, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stand. Jack said bots, so I'm gonna stay with bots. I'm just following the crowd, guys. <laughs> I oh, oh, it's oh. Missy. Oh, no way. You no. know. <laughs> That that I should know that. that she is sense. fierce. <laughs> she is fierce. All right, what we got next? Okay, I'm living lavish. Ain't no room for stress. Popping bottles, feeling blessed. From the streets to the penthouse suite, this girl is on fire. Can't you feel the heat? Oh, that's a real lyric. This girl's on fire. This girl is on fire. <laughs> this is why i said i'm not a rapper and i don't free like what trevor said i did because no one wants to listen to that all right me me and desiree are going going bars nikki logan and put i'm gonna go bot i don't i'm gonna go bot. i don't know about this one If this is by and it's not that song we think it is, I'm going to be shocked. Oh. oh, I was right. It's a bot. <laughs> I totally thought maybe it was that song. Okay, no, wrong. Okay, I guess I'll take a sip since I failed. All right, last one, guys. Bars or bots? How many of them could have... Wait. Did it with finesse. Now everybody, like, she really is the best. You play checker, checkers. Couldn't beat me playing chess. Now I'm about to turn around and beat my chest. Okay. <laughs> what do we think? I feel like this has got to be like a like a Nicki Minaj or what's the... It, um... it sounds like Nicki Minaj. It does. Yeah, I, I kind of do want to say a... bars. I, I don't know if I could, I mean, uh, the reverse of Desiree here, she can't name a Taylor Swift song. I don't know that I could name a Nicki Minaj song. Me neither, but this sound does kind of sound like her style. It sound, yeah, like. it sounds like it could be like Nicki Minaj or like Cardi B. It's, oh, th yes. I was going to say one of those two. They're both similar. I'm going to say bars. Yeah, I'm going to go with bars. bars. So it must be the right answer. I am going to go with bars for no other reason than it's the opposite of what I did last time. I think. I think. Super Ray, oh, Ray, you're Ray, right. Ray. Oh my gosh, I know that song too. I can't believe I didn't know. Ray, I do know Super Bass, but the only reason I know Super Bass is because it's on a Punk Goes Pop album. Okay. <laughs> And so, like, I know Super Bass, but I don't know Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. You don't? Okay. I can't I forget, believe you never heard the I original who, one. I forget who. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up right now. Who does the Punk Goes Pop version? Because that's all. That's the only way I know any Nicki Minaj song. Yeah, drop the, like, the the remix in the in the chat. So we the can down the downtown fiction, the downtown fiction covered downtown. super bass. Okay. Um, Jack, you're wrong. It's not chunk. No, Captain Chunk. Uh, you were close though. It's the downtown fiction. They did the other one. Um, I know what one you're talking about though. Well, ladies, I, I'm so proud of us. We got the majority of those right. Hey, double fisting, Desi. Don't go off the rails too hard. Okay? <laughs> I even cheers myself. They're the same okay. cup, though. Off the rails. <laughs> oh, my Wait, God, Keith, Keith, the Bluey, wait, Keith, the Bluey theme song slaps, though. It does. I totally agree. Beep, 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 beep. I, mm, is that like I the, the little the netflix or what is it youtube netflix it's Amazon on disney movie? plus but i disney i love plus bluey plus. i have zero okay. i have zero human children <laughs> i love bluey i will go to my friend's house and like her kids will not be watching tv 
I will turn the TV on and put it on Bluey. She's like, did you put that on for my kid? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Danny's always off the rails, Ray. Whenever I watch, uh, I, I have a rule. I watch Grey's Anatomy and I have a rule where if I watch a season finale of Grey's Anatomy, I have to watch Bluey afterwards because it makes me so very sad. sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I will literally, like when I say I'm watching Grey's Anatomy, Alden will message me and he's like, are you going to watch Bluey afterwards? I'm like, it's nine o'clock at night. Of course I'm going to watch Bluey afterwards. Sean? <laughs> Denny died so long ago. That's like Listen, yesterday's news. Come no, on. No, you know what? Honestly, I was more hurt. Same, same, same episode, same story arc. I was more hurt by George. I was so broken by George. Okay, so I, I am. I was texting my mom the whole time I was watching that episode. I'm like, Mom, is that George? <laughs> I am currently in the midst of watching, rewatching the entire thing from episode one and i'm not going to say when i started but i'm on season 12 now and it's gotten to the point where trevor is like okay i'm gonna step away can you pause it because he hates it but he's so invested in it he's like oh, i gotta watch this episode just one second i'll be right back and you just pause it <laughs> spoiler alert like everyone that? dies <laughs> So wait, is he you like, love is he it. You just get invested in per episode. We just watched where McDreamy died, and those <laughs> a spoiler yeah, everyone they, like they drink. Shonda them, likes to kill happened. everyone. Shonda I, likes to kill everyone. That's that's my next episode. I've not watched all the way through, but by the way, like you're not actually spoiling. I know that that happens. I don't know how or why, but I know that that happens. But that's like the next couple episodes. I was really, I was really sad as well when they died. And then I realized that they all die eventually because that's what Shonda likes to do. She just likes to kill everyone off. So yes, my mom is in the chat. This is not a drill. My mom is in Hi, the chat. Mom. Hi, mom. Oh my nice gosh, Nikki's you. muted. We got a Nikki, drink. Look at her. She's so muted here. right now. <laughs> I want to know what your mom is say. watching. I was I was trying to say that like I used to watch ER with my mom. Oh, I love that. Nikki, is your mom here in the chat too? Do we have all the I moms? Do I, need, I don't know. Do I need to I get sent, my mom in the chat. I sent her I sent her the link. Mom. Ma. Mater. Ma. Mater. That's that's what we call so it. Do, we call do her mater. Do you guys say say mom or ma or like mother? Is I say mother when I'm mad. It depends I call on her, if I'm mad at her or not. Sometimes I, she's ma. Sometimes she's. I ma. call my mom. Uh, I call my mom Mater, like M A dash D E R, uh, and that's what she is. That's what she is like in my phone. Look, you can see that I sent her the tech bar link, but she is Mater in my phone. Aww. Aww. Um, she and the last tech bar when she showed up, it was the weirdest thing ever because she called me Nikki for the first time in my entire life. And it was so strange. Also, Ray, that episode of Doctor Who gives me nightmares. Uh, <laughs> are you my mommy? <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Well, it has been amazing having you all here tonight. I think that we had a very successful volume, too. And I'm so excited that we get to make this a regular thing. So if anyone is interested to come join us on the bar for ladies night, we got a nice little QR code for you. Just go ahead and scan it and let us know that you're interested so we can get you on the schedule. It's going to be once a quarter ladies night bar takeover tech bar takeover so fun oh so fun okay Thanks i'm trying to type fun. it i'm fun. trying i'm trying to type it but i can't i can't type it so i'm just gonna say ray like the weeping angels and the vashta narada like terrify me the what is it weeping angels alex go watch doctor who oh Go okay, queue it up. It. Go queue it up and watch it. But the Weeping oh, Angels I and the Are you guys seeing I actually, this? I actually my mom's gonna to. make us a drink. She's oh, what she say? Hell yeah, she is. <laughs> oh, she had to get in the last mom. word. <laughs> Namaste. Don't leave us. Cheers, Namaste. guys. This is so fun. 
<laughs> let me know. Uh, let me. Let me know how many of these of these glitter cups I have to make for people and what you want on them. Like this me is and this is my hands when I'm so <laughs> This is my this this is my what OIT is one, but like it's also like I can put I have I have a cricket. I am I am a crafty lady. You guys all drink so, for cybersecurity for security. We drink for security, right? We we, we do we, drink we for drink, security. We do on. drink for security. We do. <laughs> Hell yeah, we do. Let me know. Mm. Let me know who all I'm making these cups for, and I will make them. I would like. I me, would like an OIT want one, one for sure. Yes, I'm big on the um your light your, your you, you matter T-shirts. So we'll swap. I'll send you a you matter. You're awesome T-shirt. Hell yeah! Really swap. I can absolutely do that. And I mean, like, if you want one with your with your company logo on it, if you want some, like, let me know. I got. I'm bored. We're crafty. I like crafting. We're crafty. Are yeah, I. Yeah, Nikki, we can do a swap too. I'll make you a kimono. Ooh, yes, please. Wait, I want to learn how to make a kimono. Is that? <laughs> can I just like come over? You teach yeah. me. Yeah, you I, totally I'm right. Like, like, like I'm gonna see Canada? Alex before. I'm gonna see Alex before an event in July. So like. Mm-hmm. You you are welcome to come. I've got a guest bedroom. I tell all the ladies, if you want to come hang out, I've got like four sewing machines downstairs. So slumber party. <laughs> slumber party and craft night. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. You're yeah. on my sewing table right now. So I also I love my the, sewing machine. <laughs> I love that the things that I can reach. For me, are a dinosaur mask and a sewing machine. I'm just like, yeah. I got this, guys. It's perfectly I love that. themed. I love that. I love yeah, it. no, I am. I'm happy to teach you anytime. Come hang out. And Nikki, just let me know um, uh, your favorite color or color scheme, and I'll, I'll whip you something up. It's real easy. Um, anything Thanks. galaxy colors. Okay. So, like, okay. blues, blues and purples and pinks and, like, galaxy colors like just google I, galaxy i understand the assignment totally understand the assignment <laughs> oh i'm glad that, that I, I, i'm glad that alden is uh saying what happened to my video he's like my internet did the internet i mm, oh. that's why i disappeared for a second do you do you have uh my frames Oh, the your not your not your my, glasses frames, my, my dear. Yeah. Um. Which one is it? Is it this one? Is that better? Ray keeps saying I, security. I added. I added oh. this this orange she bow to drink. the painting of. Oh man! See what you did, Ray. I added that nice I got a little drink. Oh, I gotta no, pour more bad. just for one more drink. Oh, you guys. Here. Oh. I'll actually because okay, Alex said. <laughs> That you could totally tell that the cap was on. So here, I'll do a little chug. No, that wasn't Alex. Like, that was Nikki. That was Nikki. Nikki was that like, that looks fake as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, I, I've been known to drink from the bottle a time or two. So I, you know, I'm still, I'm still chug. technically, I'm still technically on the clock for another half hour. <sighs> Look, Nikki, you make sure you take care of CS, okay? <laughs> You're in charge. It, it's only <laughs> it's only it's only four thirty right now. You guys want me to make some like customer calls? Do some you do know, some training. That could be interesting. Wait. That could be interesting. This <laughs> right, is, that definitely went off the rails. The most important thing to do now, it, anything in my career that I've learned, the most important thing to do now is to make sure you have a good one on one with your boss. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ray, when it's Ray. intoxicated, one on ones are like the most logical thing to happen. Honestly, listen, that's how I got my job. That's that's how I got my job. My I, I always I always joke with people that like my interview was a week in Vegas. And Ve <laughs> yeah, I was there for that. <laughs> and then like I made I I made friends with my boss, and then at the end of the week, he was like, "Hello, I have I have a position that would be good for you," and I was like. All right, talk to me. Sign me up. <laughs> and now here and I, I am. Like, and I'm an like, employee. Hey. An employee. That is so important. And I love that conversation. That is, that's networking. That is. Ray, community. you thought I was off? It's 4.30 where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, 
No, I just, I just, I just messaged Marissa and I'm like, Hey, I'm going to be on tech bar. I have to be off at three o'clock instead of five. N Nikki has been working cases the entire time. The whole time. So it's the whole it's time. Fine, right? I'm just, I'm just, I got, I got my, I got my spicy beverage and, uh, got my spicy beverage and yeah. So if we see if we see any cases with some some spicy interaction from Thursday at 4:30 p.m., we know what's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, like, I'm gonna be like, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> All right, ladies. Well, it was a pleasure, Nikki. I'm sorry. Get back to work. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, Alex, Alex, if you want me to go back and work some CS cases right now, I absolutely will. Yeah, um, but no. I'm not, I'm not, I can't be held accountable for the responses that the customers get. You're, you are off the rails and a liability and I'm going to have to put you on mute and it is for security purposes. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Hit all the targets there. Teamwork. I like that teamwork. <laughs> Wait, I like Alden's hashtag. Instead of just Ray has to pay, it's Ray has to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> what could go yeah, wrong? Oh, I so wish we I wish a, I had we need I wish I had my shirt. shirt. I wish I had my Ray has to pay shirt. <laughs> Why didn't you wear that? Yeah, we why need company wide that? shirts to because, say that. <laughs> because well, okay, Logan, let me let me let me tell you here. There Ray is has if you to go pay. to if Ray you go is to pay Nikki. Nikki, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Get back to if work. If you go, Logan, if you work, go girl. to <laughs> <laughs> Mike drop. Bye, Nikki. <laughs> Bye. No, I'm just kidding. You, you guys are great. Have back. a wonderful <laughs> night. I'll Logan. see you next quarter. <laughs> Look, and I'm gonna I'm gonna message you. Check your Discord because I have I have a funny story for you. All right, we'll chat. We'll All right, chat. guys. Well, it has been such a fun episode. I am so happy you ladies were able to join me at the bar tonight. But I do have to work in the morning, so I am going to bid you adieu. Bye, guys. This was so. Bye, fun. guys. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thanks for letting us take This has been a broadcast of the MSP Media Network.